Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel! If you're a fan of high octane racing, you're in the right place, because today we're diving deep into the No Prep Elite Championship after the intense showdown in Rockingham. Let me tell you, the competition is fierce, the stakes are high, and every driver is pushing their limits to claim that top spot. So grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's break down who's leading, who's chasing, and who still has a shot to win it all. Now, picture this, you're on the edge of your seat, the smell of burning rubber fills the air, engines are roaring at deafening levels, and then, like a bullet, these cars shoot off the line. That was Rockingham. It was electrifying, with every race giving us twists and turns we didn't see coming. But, as they say, that was just the beginning of the story. After two heart-pounding events, there's one name at the top of the leaderboard, Clay Cole. This guy has been absolutely crushing it so far. But here's the kicker, with 140 points still on the table, nothing is guaranteed. That's right, nothing is set in stone just yet. Clay may be ahead, but he's being chased by some hungry racers looking to knock him off that top spot. And let's talk about Sean Ellington and Scott Taylor. These guys are tied for second place alongside Robin Roberts, and they're breathing down Clay's neck. They've been fast, they've been consistent, and they're hungry for that number one spot. But don't count out the likes of Ryan Martin and Giuseppe Gentile either, they've been quietly stacking points and could be ready to explode onto the scene with a big performance in the next race. Now, for some of our fan favorites like Kai Kelly, Justin Swanstrom, and Jim Howe, the road ahead looks a little steeper. But let's not kid ourselves, this is no prep, where anything can happen. One big win and suddenly, they're right back in it. So don't write them off just yet. So, who's got the best chance to take this thing all the way? If we're being real, the top five racers, Clay Cole, Sean Ellington, Scott Taylor, Ryan Martin, and Robin Roberts, are in the best positions. But here's the thing, and you know it too, it's all about those matchups. If Clay gets taken out early in one of the next few races, say, by Sean, Scott, or even Nate Saylor, that points lead can vanish in an instant. And suddenly, the championship race would be wide open. Now, if you're a driver like Justin Swanstrom or Jim Howe, you're in the underdog position. But who doesn't love a good underdog story? These guys are going to need nothing short of perfection in the upcoming events. They've got to bring their A-game, win big, and hope that the leaders stumble. But hey, crazier things have happened in no prep, right? Now let's look ahead to what's coming. We've got Steel, Alabama, and Texas Motorplex next on the schedule. Let me tell you, these tracks are known for being absolute beasts. Steel is a favorite among the drivers for its fast times, great air, and killer conditions. We could see some jaw-dropping speeds here, folks. And don't sleep on Texas Motorplex either. It's another high-speed track where anything can happen. We've seen champions rise and fall here before, and we could see a shakeup in the standings if someone pulls off a big upset. Drivers like Nate Saylor and Kayla Morton? Keep an eye on them. They've both proven they've got the speed to keep up with the best, and if they can dial in their setups, they could throw a wrench into the whole championship race. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting, the matchups. I mean, this is where championships are won or lost. We're already hearing about some first round clashes that are going to be insane. We've got Sean Ellington going up against Jeff Lutz, and let's be honest, that's a heavyweight battle right there. Scott Taylor might face Nate Saylor or Chris Rankin, and we all know Nate can take out the top dogs on a good day. If Clay Cole gets paired with Nate or Chris Rankin, buckle up, because that could be a game-changing race. Any early exit from one of these top guys, and the whole championship picture shifts dramatically. So, what's the bottom line? Clay Cole may be leading the pack, but he's got some serious competition chasing him down. With 140 points still up for grabs, it's anyone's game. Drivers like Sean Ellington, Scott Taylor, and Ryan Martin are still very much in the hunt. And don't sleep on the likes of Nate Saylor or Kayla Morton, they could shake things up in a big way if they hit their stride at Steel or Texas. So, who do you think is going to take home the championship? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things no prep racing. This season is far from over, and I promise, it's only going to get wilder from here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the track.